Welcome again, everybody. I am absolutely excited, ecstatic to be presenting to you the solution to the challenge we had last time. So I don't know how it was for you guys. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Leave your comments down below. Let me know how it was. Uh, if you have your own solutions or you know anything you found difficult about it, anything you would like me to go into more detail about, I'll be sure to do that in the future. So for now, let's go ahead and show you my solution. But of course, this is not the only solution. With many of these things, you could do it a few different ways, but I like my one. <laughs> I think it's pretty elegant. I like it. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. So as with any function, the first thing, first thing we're gonna do is give it the return type, which here will be string, then the name, build pyramid. Then we'll open and close our brackets and we'll have our variables. In this case, the first one will be string car, which is positional and then int height. But of course you can call it anything. And then one thing you might've noticed me doing, but might not have known how to do yourself is combine the named arguments with the positional arguments. And the way we do that is the first two, of course, are positional, but then we can just put those curly brackets afterwards and put our named arguments here. So we have car, height, and bull, uh, two sides or whatever it was I called it. And we can give it a default value, but it's not necessary. So this is our function prototype. And let's jump into the function body. We'll start by declaring some variables. Um, personally, I like to hard code things like this, max length. Uh, in fact, I would, I think it's better if I move it outside. Max uh, const, <laughs> I really can't type today. Max length equals, and let's say 70. Uh, the reason I'm saying 70 is because 70 is how many characters I could fit on my terminal at the zoom level if I have it double-sided. Uh, but it might be different for you. And that's why I'm putting it up at the top because, you know, if you zoom out, you can change it to whatever you want. If you zoom in, you know, change it again. It's nice and simple. Just change it here and it will do it for you everywhere. Okay. So after that, the other variables we need are our uh, white space. And we'll start with just the empty string and our, uh, uh, let's call it a return string. You can also call it str. You can call it just really anything you'd like. It doesn't matter at all. The first thing we need to do is do some kind of checks for the character and the height, because remember both of these are constrained. So check if car is of correct length. And we're just gonna put a simple if statement, a car, over one and in fact this should be car dot uh, i really can't type <laughs> car dot length and i forgot to tell you guys how to do that last time but a quick google search will have told you um in fact i'm going to write it in the description of the previous video so if car dot length over one we're going to return and have a string car must be of length one one thing I didn't mention previously about functions is that functions stop executing when it reaches its first return statement. So because we return this, nothing else will execute afterwards. If we get here, we just stop here. But if car is of the correct, correct length, then we can do if height less than one obviously we can't accept negative heights and or in fact we should use or height greater than we can just use our constant max length and again we'll return invalid height height must be between one and extrapolate max length there we go and again, the same as before, because we have the return statements here, it's going to seize execution if we get into this if statement, and we're not going to get the rest. So super simple so far. Next, we're going to use some kind of loop to, uh, to print the string 
with one iteration per line. Uh, you could use any kind of loop you'd like. Uh, for me, I'm going to use a for loop because those are my favorites, really. There's not much else to it. I'm just used to them. Uh, so for int i equals zero, and remember, I'm going to tell you guys honestly, this program would be easier to start at int one, but no, <laughs> we're not doing that. I am allergic, deafly, to int i equals zero. I, I cannot do that in any kind of loop. It, sorry, to, to one. It must always, always, always start at zero. It's just the way things are. <laughs> okay, so int i equals zero. And then we'll do i less than, i less than what? Well, has to be less than our height. And then we're going to do i plus plus. So at the end of every iteration, we're going to make our i, uh, you know, it, to rate it <laughs> one more time. We're going to add one to it. So some of you might have ran into some trouble because of the white space. You know, when I printed my nice function, you saw I had a lot of white space at the beginning, and then I had the uh, the actual symbol. So how will we do that? Well, we're going to say return string plus equals, and that is what I called it, right? Yeah, uh, plus equals, and then we'll say, in fact, I'm going to say white space plus equals, we'll do a single space there, and we'll multiply that by, and how many do we need here? We need the height minus i, so at the beginning we're on zero, but at the end we want less white space, but we're going to have to say minus one, because, uh, you know, on the final line, we don't want any white space. And on the first line, we want one less space than the total height. So that makes sense. And this is again why I mentioned that this particular program would be easier if I equals one, but we just don't do it like that. Then we can say return string plus equals white space. So now we have the white space built. And then we can say return string plus equals, and we're going to say the character multiplied. And what do you guys think we're going to multiply it by here? We're going to multiply it by i plus one, right? We're going to multiply it by i plus one because on the first iteration, i is zero, but I do want to print it at least once. And, you know, on the final iteration, I want to have it as long as the height, but i will never be equal to the height. At the maximum, i will be one less than the height, right? So super simple stuff so far. And actually, if the pyramid is of a single side, it's already finished. But we do have that pesky two sides argument. We need to be able to, hand to handle both of them. So next we're gonna have to say if two sides, and we could just do it like this because two sides is either gonna be true or false. We do not need to say equals equals true because you know it holds true or false values. That doesn't make sense. Uh, we have this, then we're going to say return string plus equals, and we'll add our two spaces here. And then finally, plus equals, and the same as before, car times i plus one. And of course, we don't need to add more white space at the end, because why would we? <laughs> You know, we're just going to go to the to the next line. If you do want to add the white space, it's, it's not going to break your program, but you don't need it. Now that we have this, we just need to return our return string. And another thing you need to be careful about, I almost returned it here, but then I remember that's wrong because that is within the for loop. If you put it here, you're only going to get one line. You're not going to get all of it return string over here, and that is it. This is our finished program. So if I just save it. So let's quickly test our program with uh, void main, and we can print build pyramid. We're gonna do, uh, let's do a hash. And the heights could be 10, never mind. And we'll also do the same thing with a height of 50, quite long. 
and see if this works. And we're also gonna say to site is true. And then we're just gonna dot v7 slash seven dot dots. Oh, we messed up. <laughs> we forgot something, didn't we? <laughs> so who can find the error before I do? Let's see. Um, the error is over here. I forgot to add the new line. So we need to add a new line at the end of uh, every line because here I'm just building the string. I'm not printing it directly. So if I don't specifically say, hey, give me a new line, it's not going to do that. So now that we have that, let's try to run it again. <laughs> it really messed up my, my outputs. How did I mess it up? Do you know what? I figured out what I did wrong. <laughs> I forgot to reset the white space. Um, so the white space here is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger every time, which is not necessarily what we want. What we really should do is rather than the plus equals here, it just needs to be an equals because we don't want it to be growing infinitely. <laughs> Sorry, small mistake. So everybody does make mistakes with programming, especially stuff like this. It's easy to overlook some things. And there we go. That is perfect. Look at that. Beautiful with the two sides. Amazing. It looks like a Death Star. No, uh, whatever one of those ships was called. And the single pyramid, not as interesting. But there we go. And really quickly, I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like without the constraints. So if I did want to... I'm just going to copy all of this. If I did want to get rid of the character uh, constraints, uh, if I do it like this, this will be the broken version. So no max. And I'm going to fix this straight away for you guys. So doing it like this, there's no limit on the, well, there's the same limit as the on a single character, and I'm not fixing the white space. So what we're gonna do here is first we'll do int local max length equals take the max length constant and int divide that by our character length. So this way I'm going to keep the same ratio. And if I have like 10 characters, I'm only going to be able to print seven of them. But if I have like only two characters, I can still print quite a lot. And then I'm going to use that here instead of the previous max length. Uh, it's going to bother me. I spelled that wrong. And then we need to make one more quick fix, which is over here on the white space. We need the white space to be a bit longer because I need one per character. So I'll do times car dot length here. And with these two fixes, having the correct car dot length and changing the local max length, now it's going to work the way we want it to, even with longer inputs. So if we say build pyramid no max fixed and we could say oh I don't know code <laughs> and we can have a height of 10 such fit and two sides can be true there we go and I'm actually gonna um, come these out see it works perfectly like this as well Okay, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know how you guys found it by yourself, if you were able to do the challenge quite easily. You can see that even uh, myself, even though I actually did this exercise before, I already had it ready, I still made a couple mistakes when doing it the second time. Um, ironically, the first time I made the program, I didn't have any errors, but this time uh, I thought I already knew it, so I did it quicker, and I made a couple dumb mistakes, but it happens. This is why we test our code. We can fix it easily afterwards. So... 
leave your comments down below let me know how you found it if it was easy uh, too difficult and stay tuned for more in the future in the meantime if you want to get the code it is uploaded to my github the link is going to be in the description below so guys that was it for me today so for myself avidius i am out